Penn State here today. Tip by Slay. Linden goes wide. Well, she tried to manage the swing a little, uh, a little bit, but had still had too much on it. Tried to softly go around the block, but it went out of bounds. Slay. Really nice job at a six-six middle blocker right there. Again, you know she can. She can get real quiet during the match. I was just and getting all, ready to say the same thing. Yeah, and then all of a sudden she'll just come up with a with a big shot. Tip over by Wopat. Picked up by Gonzalez. Deja McClendon dug up by Gilbert. Scott fires. Got it. Really nice set by Dominique Gonzalez. She had to take that second, the second ball. Mikey Henry had dug the shot and put it nicely for Ariel Scott to kill. Another service error. The fourth for Micah Hancock here today. I tell you, I don't know how Russ Rose does it or other coaches do it when those servers out errors just pop their heads up and it's tough to it's tough to swallow sometimes. McClendon. Bug dug that one off. Penn State really opening up with some hard hit balls right here. I meant blocks. But hard hit balls also. McClendon was impressed with what Slade delivered there. And equally as impressive as what Williams delivered there on the right side. <laughs> Megan Courtney over the block. Nice job of going off the fingertips of the block and just bounces so high. There's just no way a defender can get that ball. Courtney has eight kills, 12 digs. The tip and a little miscommunication there at the net. Point for Stanford. With just one of those little ball control errors right now. My, Micah Hancock's in the back row. She couldn't jump to get that. Second hit. Both teams seem to start off a little bit shaky as we enter each set today. You know, you kind of notice that a little bit because it's a 25-point game. I guess they don't feel the pressures, you know, early on. It's good serve by Burgess. The block, Inky Ajanaku. And how about some hang time by Ajanaku right there? She stayed up in the air and got her hand on that ball for the tip. Immediately after that happened, Megan up Courtney high, hangs, boom. Got up and said, that was my bad, that was me. Ajana <laughs> Koo, back to back. Russ Rowe is not happy with what he's seeing right now. You very rarely see him get up off the bench to talk to his team, but when he's had enough, he's had enough. Match, an opportunity to move on to the national semifinals in Seattle. Out of bounds, point for Stanford. Inky Adonikou gets up really high, gets that good press down on the ball. She really is. She might be the best blocker I've seen this year. She just has such great hops when she gets up in the air. It's the press across the net that is so impressive from her. Ayana Whitney, good now for Penn State. 
point for the Nittany Lions. Incredibly smart play right there. Tipping that ball to the open part of the Stanford defense. I suppose switching things up a little bit out goes Scott, as I mentioned. Diana Whitney into the match. Is in for Mia Grant. Point for Stanford. Extend their lead here by three. Five one run here for the Cardinal. Courtney tried it again into that block and again denied. You know, Megan Courtney's been really hitting the ball so hard off his left side, having success getting through the block or tooling it off the block. But right now, this is two in a row, two in a row where Maddie Bug got her hands on both of those. So far, it's the largest lead of the match for Stanford, Inkia Janaku. Helping her team to that lead, they're up 9-5. The NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship is presented by Northwestern Mutual. Proud to be an official corporate partner of the NCAA. Lexington in this regional finale. Stanford on top of Penn State here in this four set, nine to five. Penn State leads it 2-1. Maryland takes on Notre Dame in the championship of the NCAA Men's College Cup presented by Northwestern Mutual tomorrow at 3 Eastern on ESPNU. Also live on Watch ESPN. A little chilly out there for some soccer out in Pennsylvania. I hope they have some scarves and hats. And the first kill here for Whitney. The sophomore from New Jersey, red shirt last season, hitting 221 on the season. Sarah May had been so good there earlier. McClendon got it through the block. She'll go up again. Gilbert was there. Got it over. Whitney, her second kill here today. Calling Maddie Bug is a back row player right here, and she goes up and contacts the ball above the top of the net. You can't do that. Another play at the net. Same play goes the way of the Nittany Lions again. Slay was there. It's, a, it's the exact same play as the time before. The same thing, she's contacting the ball above the net. The Penn State players touching the ball also. And you can't do that if you're back row. The discussion here on which way the point was going. I'm going to say it was out of bounds, so the Cardinal will have it. I've seen a lot of that here today. Well, you see both teams trying to plead their case with the referee. Williams, McClendon, the matchup, the winner of that one, Deja McClendon. Beautiful one-on-one -on -one with Rachel Williams and Deja McClendon, and Rachel Williams doesn't lose too many of these matchups right there. So Scott back in for Penn State. Slay McClendon up there. It's the fifth service error for Hancock. 
Those are those unforced errors that you really it, it, it just can't afford to have many of those, especially when you can control and manage a serve. She had five in the Minnesota match yesterday. Again, the number two server in the country. McClendon dug up by Howard. And Koch slight tip. Williams with the tip. Scott there. Up and over the block goes Burgess for the Stanford point. Nice hard hit ball by Jordan Burgess. Doing what she does best, and that is just really that quick arm swing. Getting through the block. Just a sophomore. If you're Janaku, just a sophomore. My goodness. Had some power behind that one. Well, that was maybe the, the nicest hit ball I've seen Ariel Scott hit all day. The way she got on top of it and just brought it home. That was a paint peeler, Melissa, right there. <laughs> Another paint That's peeler. What it is. She had the other one yesterday, too, right? The one-on-one, Ajanaku Slay. Give it to Slay. Well, she read this perfectly. She knew where that ball was going. She stayed tough in the middle. Seven blocks for her here today. Burgess, the tip, trying to get over, over Scott. Pushed out to Courtney into the block. Ajanaku making her presence known there. Well, she is, and she, the excitement, the enthusiasm that she shows after she makes a nice play. That's, you know, that's a lot of that is youth having fun. And then here goes the miss serve for the kill of the, of that momentum. It's a momentum killer. 14-12, Stanford, the slight edge here in this fourth set. Howard, dug up by Gonzalez. Courtney over the block. The overpass, Scott tried to take it. She'll take it here, over the block. Burgess goes high, and Burgess gets the kill. Nice rally by both teams. Good finish off by Burgess. Just that hard hit ball off that left side. Ariel Scott tries to put it away first, but here comes Jordan Burgess right off the fingertips again. She's so good at using the block. Sarah May back in for Penn State. Out goes Courtney. Burgess with 15 kills, hitting 382. Matches Williams and her 15 kills for Stanford. Well, that's that call again. Micah Hancock is in the back row, so she cannot contact the ball above the net as your opponent is touching the ball also. Sarah May. No. Wide. She tried to sell the tip, but there was no tip. The hard hit ball, it sails out, but there was no tip. So Pitt State leads it 2-1 here in Lexington, but Stanford trying to take one here in the fourth of 17-12. Back here in Lexington, Stanford on top of Penn State here in this four set, though Penn State leads it 2-1. Let's take a look at how Penn State Plans for success brought to you by Northwestern Mutual. And you've got Deja McClendon. Nice swings on the ball today along with Ariel Scott. They've done it from all across the net. Ariel Scott mostly from the right side. But she can do it from the left side too. Really just give you the ball, coach. Success coming from teamwork there. As you take a look at their numbers, Scott 19 kills. McClendon with 18. Again, the two seniors who were on that last national championship team for Penn State trying to get back there. 
Nice shot by Sarami right there. She plays with a lot of emotion also. Has come off the bench, giving Penn State a little bit of a spark in this set. Janaku. Sarah May dug up by Gilbert. Four. Another great save by her. The tip by Howard. Gonzalez is there. McClendon with a push. Sarah May over the block, and she gets the point. Beautiful point by Penn State right there. He had a lot of nice defensive plays. Lacey Ford gets a nice dig in the back. The Sarami finishes this off with such a powerful swing right off the hands of Inki Ajanaku. Ajanaku got that one down. 10 kills for the sophomore from Tulsa, Oklahoma, hitting 400. Mary Ellen Muff with the service here for Stanford. Sarah May, the block, Wopat. Carly Wopat got over, got up high, pressed in, sent it back into Penn State's court. Fourth kill, excuse me, fourth block for Wopat. Sarah May high, and it's out. Stanford with the point. Got a little bit of a run here. Went outside the pins right there. Sarah May goes out. In comes Megan Courtney. This is the largest lead of the match for either team here today. Beautifully hit ball by Rachel Williams coming out of the backcourt on that one and right back. Watch her set this thing up. Just a beautifully set ball. You know, that's where the game is going. Power hitters coming out of the backcourt. 4-0 run for Stanford. Make it 5-0. A great run by Stanford right here. Carly Wopat having a big block within this run that really seemed to Spark the Cardinal. Whitney goes out. Back in is Mia Grant for Penn State. Courtney. Long. Five straight points at the service line here for Luck. Closing in, Stanford on set point. Ariel Scott back in the game for Penn State. Let's see if they go to her out of the backcourt right here. And, they and that they do. Well, they had to do it. They just don't have enough firepower in the net right now. So Ariel Scott coming out of the backcourt is a great strategy for Penn State. She came through for them. Sarah May comes back in, and Courtney will go out. She will go back to the service line. 23-15, Stanford on top here in this fourth set. Trying to even it back up at two apiece. Goes wide for Wopat. Now the Nittany Lions hoping to go on a little bit of a run here, which has been Sort of the formula we've seen. So we get one team closing in on set point, the other comes roaring back. Wopat, Gonzalez there. Scott. And that one was long by a mile. Well, it was. I think she was trying to use the tip 
tips of the fingers of the Penn State block, but just missed him. Good time out. Called here by Coach Dunning. You have to you have to stop the Penn State momentum right here. Even though 23 to 17 seems like an insurmountable lead, you, you don't want to give Penn State any any more momentum. Our first matchup of the day here on ESPNU has been a great one between here Penn State and Stanford, Texas, Nebraska later tonight. But after this matchup, we've got Wisconsin and Purdue. And then in the nightcap, it's Washington USC who will play the winner of this matchup here. Well, whoever wins any of these matches, the, the national semifinals in Seattle are gonna be fantastic. They're, those are eight teams right here trying to get there that are have had great seasons, deserve to be where they are. It's just going to shaping up to be a great national semifinal. Now you talk about people who have the argument throughout the years. Oh, well, somebody got an easy regional to get to the national semifinals or to get to the championship game. I don't think so this year. Well, I think everybody wants to analyze it. I think that's just human nature. But, you, you know, I'm sorry. You get to this point in the NCAA tournament in any sport, there is no easy path. I don't care who you're playing or where you're playing. There is not an easy day to try to, to get to a national championship. These are the two most storied programs, as we have mentioned many times here today. National championship, six for Stanford, five for Penn State, UCLA with four. And the last time that Penn State was here in Lexington, they got beat by UCLA, who went on to advance and win the championship game. Well, trust me, Russ Rose didn't think anything about that, neither is his team. <laughs> Not right now. They're down 23-17 to Stanford, who's threatening to take this fourth set. The overpass, and Wolpat takes care of it. Nice aggressive shot by Carly Wolpat. She could have easily just let that ball come down, use it as a free ball to set up the offense. But I like the aggressiveness, attack that ball. Set point for the Cardinal. Service error. Williams and Stanford walks away with this fourth set. We knew this one was going to go to five, and yes, it 